Good. I'm Domenica Wilk. You'll report to me. Your skills are impressive. And so is your track record. Acting governments, multinationals. Whatever you want, I can get it. That's why I hired you. But this job is different. This is the Abstergo Cloud. It's an archive of memories stretching back through time. We use a technology called the Animus to visit these memories, seeing them through the eyes of those who lived them. What is this, time travel? It's a simulation. No action you take in the Animus can directly affect the present. So why do you need me? The memories in the cloud hold the key to an important project I'm working on. So I want you to visit these memories and bring back the information I need. Where do I start? It's more of a who than a where. Ezio Auditore di Firenze, an Italian noble and master assassin. Sounds like quite a character. He was. Ezio was friends with Leonardo da Vinci and Machiavelli and a sworn enemy of the Borgias. He touched many lives at the end of the 15th century, and his blade ended more than a few. Count me in. Not so fast. The Animus is unlike anything you've ever experienced before, so we need to get you acclimated to its use. Think of it as a test before we set you loose on the real deal. Now, let's see what you've got. Welcome to the Animus Orientation Protocol. I will guide you through the basics of using the Animus. Your avatar is now active. You should be able to move around freely.
money is all we need. Just put it back. Hidden blade, the assassin's weapon of choice. There you go. Staff has been dismissed for the day. There will only be a couple of guards for me to deal with. Good to know. Once again, my path leads back to Venice. Alas, I must deny my friends here the pleasure of my company. I have a sword to retrieve, and a lesson to teach. No one steals from an auditore. to boast about it.
I wish we were with the rest of the troop right now, instead of being stuck standing guard here. Why? A map of Monteregioni. Why is this here? They'll be getting plenty of chances to line their pockets when the day comes. We'll be getting our rewards, sure enough. Don't be impatient. I'm not impatient. I just want my fair share. I have no doubt we will all get what we deserve. You must make your way through the library without being detected. If you're spotted, you'll desynchronize, and will restart from your last checkpoint in this memory. I really was looking forward to the chance to do a little shall we say, acquisitions work? Why are you in such a rush? I have bills to pay, and they won't give me credit down at the wine shop anymore. <laughs> so your money was burning a hole in your purse. Now you need more, and you thought the other operation would give you some easy pickings. It's not like that. Well, it is like that. But that doesn't mean it's any less unfair. We can't be part of the fun. Fun? I suppose that's what you call it. Why not? No guards, no real opposition. I'll wager the men who got sent there come back with jewels and coin galore. You've heard the stories of hidden treasure. We all have. Yes, and they're probably just that. Stories. You ask around and every little town supposedly has secret tunnels filled with treasure. I don't believe it. Shows what you know. It says here the painting is to be delivered to Francisco Rizzo. I know that name. Straighten up and man your post. Fine. Fine. Whatever you say. I have to come home and the is Don't. You can distract guards in a number of ways. For example, you can divert their attention by throwing objects to make noise. I'd better be careful here. What? What's making that noise? If you feel uncomfortable when using the Animus, remember that you can adjust your comfort settings at any time. You are now going to learn how to assassinate a target. Flick your wrist outward while holding the trigger button to draw your hidden blade. Once the blade is drawn, you can use it to assassinate your unsuspecting target. They're keeping an eye out. Well done. You have mastered the art of assassination. Now proceed with your mission. What is this?
The Animus Pulse ability detects key objects nearby and highlights them with a gold aura. There is an empty socket above the fireplace. Pieces joined together, but where do they go? Yes, mistress. I should never have been away so long. Is my carriage ready? Yes, mistress. Good. Now put your back into it. There's no time to waste. <sighs> yes, mistress. To reach the next room, you will need to climb this wall. Try it now. Some kind, my sword could well be here. Must be here somewhere.
Here it is. The note. The sword is attractive, but ultimately useless for our purposes. It is not the item we need. We must plan more carefully and try again. There is no signature. an elegant blade. times. I am glad we dress more sensibly these days. Keep the door. Ah, time to get out of here. Now initiating the Animus Combat Protocol. Loading standard enemy profile. Block the incoming strikes by holding your weapon to intercept them. Now I got you! Let's see what you're made of! Now block a sequence of strikes. Strike insufficient to cause damage. Blocking enemy attacks can create opportunities for you to strike. Block the following attack sequence to continue. Blocking a series of enemy attacks opens up windows to strike. Use these chances to slash an enemy. Execution rated acceptable. Now perform the maneuver in real time. A well-placed attack will stun an enemy. This will allow you to strike and cause increased damage. Performance rated acceptable. Now eliminate this enemy. a success. Terminating Animus Combat Protocol. at guards will tag them, so you can track them when they're out of sight. Path ahead is guarded, but there is always a way through.
sword is mine again. But my heart is not yet at ease. I will make for Monterigioni. It is time I went home. Not bad for your first time in the Animus. I'm a quick study. Now how about we take the training wheels off? Certainly, but first, you need to know why you're here. We call it the Antikythera Mechanism. It was found a hundred years ago, in a shipwreck off the coast of Greece. What is it? It's part of an ancient computer, older than recorded history. We think it was used for prognostication, predicting the future. So who built it? We believe it predates human civilization. Though what's important is that within this device is code more advanced than any we've seen before. We reverse engineered it so it can interface with the Animus, but that's just the start. I'm listening. The Antikythera mechanism is one part of a much larger machine, broken apart in the distant past. With the code from those missing fragments, we can bring the old and the new together and create a computer more powerful than we've seen before. I call the project the Nexus Eye, and now you're a part of it. I guess I am. Where are these fragments? Hidden in the past, and that's where you come in. I need you to visit the memories within the Abstergo Cloud, find the missing fragments, and extract the code contained within them. Are you asking me to search the whole cloud? No, we've identified a series of memories as linked to the missing fragments. You'll place tracking beacons within them to triangulate your position within the memory clusters and direct us towards those most likely to contain what we're looking for. Do I stay with Ezio? For now, but in time you'll visit other memories. We'll have to see where the search leads. I'll be 